$6.5 billion has been accrued from crude oil revenue in 10 years. Ibeni Jekumbwate has been finding out how the money has been spent so far. Ten years on from oil, our city is still depreciating year on year. We had huge infrastructure deficit. Has all our infrastructure deficit been solved? No. Ghana's oil money was mortgaged against loans before oil money started coming in. In first quarter 2016, our total oil revenue was less than the interest that we were paying on the loans that we have taken. So we actually spent away the money before it came. That is why it's difficult to be able to pinpoint to the exact infrastructure that you can say that, oh, the oil revenue was used to do this. PIAC, ESEP, and IES are of the view there is nothing tangible to point to in terms of projects from the $6.5 billion oil revenue accrued in the past 10 years. I think Ghana gas infrastructure with the pipelines is one of the things that you can probably go ahead and say that, look, we build that from our oil revenue. Most of these funds have been invested into the free senior high school. Oil revenue has been spread thinly across many projects leading to delays, cost overruns and reducing their impact. That out of the 6.5 billion uh, that have been sent by PIAC, uh, we believe that it could have been better managed than what we are seeing today. Over the years, we had spread it so thinly that at some point, some project that started never get continued funding from the oil money. If we had kept all our oil revenue for 10 years, okay, and we have gotten $6.5 in the bank today, imagine what we could, we could do with it. Because what that means is that you would have the money in the bank when you give out contracts, you can pay within a specific time. I would not blame the oil money. I would rather blame the system through which the oil revenues are spent. A petrochemical engineer, Dr. Yusuf Suleimana, noted the delay in linking the upstream and the downstream sectors. He also noted the slow pace in linking the petroleum and power sectors. It's going to help to optimize our oil production in the upstream side and to also help to catalyze our industrialization because it will end up ensuring that we are able to generate power at competitive rates. We didn't have the resources to build a new refinery and we didn't have the resources to um, upgrade the refinery to be able to do what it needed to do, i.e. refine our own oil. We missed the boat and 10 years down the line we are suffering for it.